back to my channel. Sorry I have not posted in a week, but I'm back and I'm ready to be posting more. Um, today I'm going to be doing what I would pack in my Reborn diaper bag. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you everything that I would pack for my Reborns for an outing. I would not pack this much stuff um, because they're not real babies. They don't need extra changes of clothes and stuff like that. But I wanted to make it a little bit more fun and make it as realistic as possible. So yeah, this video was inspired by Sophia's Reborns. I love her channel and I saw this video and I wanted to make one of my own. And like her, I'm going to be packing for a toddler and a reborn baby because you pack very different things for a toddler and a baby. So I'm going to be doing both. So yeah, let's just get started. So for this video, I'm going to be packing for Autumn and Mason. All right, so for the diaper bags, I'm going to be needing to pack a few because I don't have very many big ones. So for Mason, I'm going to be packing this little bumblebee bag. And then for Autumn, she likes to bring her little Little Mermaid school backpack. So she's going to be packing all of her things in there. And then if I need a little more extra space, I do have this little diaper bag. So yeah, let's start. All right, we're going to start with Autumn's bag first. So for her, I'm going to pack her favorite little blankie. She can't go anywhere without this. She loves this. Anything else that doesn't fit, I would put, I'll put in Mason's bag because his bag is a little bit bigger. So I've got her blankie and then I'm going to pack um, some extra little socks. It's good to have an extra pair of socks. And then I'm also going to pack her pacifier. Um, we're trying to like train her to not have any more pacifiers, but it's always good to just bring in case, just in case I can't get her to stop crying. And then I'm also going to pack her little hairbrush, just in case she needs that. Next, I'm going to bring her sunglasses. Um, she, she loves her sunglasses and she always wants to bring them, even though it is literally storming outside, but she wants to bring them. So we're going to let her bring those. Now for her toys, I'm going to be bringing her little book. This is just a little shapes book that she got for Christmas. I'm gonna pack that for her. And then also I'm going to pack her Peppa Pig and her Minnie Mouse. And I'm also gonna bring her bunny. She can't leave the house without her bunny. So we're going to also pack that in her bag. All right, now for snacks. And toddlers need a lot of snacks. So I'm going to be bringing quite a few snacks. So first I'm going to be bringing this little blue container and this just has her favorite little um, Sesame Street crackers. She loves these. And then I'm also going to be packing these two little mini um, containers. This one has like some little banana cookies. And then she loves baby pups. Even though she's a toddler, she really likes these. To be honest, they're really good. So yeah, we're gonna be packing that. Also, I'm going to be packing her a little applesauce. This is just a treetop um, applesauce pouch, which is really good. I would bring some more like easy on the go snacks just because if they're in a stroller or in the car, it's good to have some uh, less messy snacks. And then also I'm going to be bringing her um, little food container and this has some Cheerios. These are really good snacks to bring for like in a stroller and it's spill proof so nothing can fall out, which is really good for a toddler. Now on for the drinks, I'm going to be bringing her water bottle so i just filled this up with some water it's good to have a water bottle at all times and then i also packed some juice in this little sippy cup so we're also going to be bringing those those will probably stay in her stroller and then i'm not going to put this in her bag because her bag ran out of space but i would bring an extra outfit so for her extra outfit i'm just going to bring this simple long sleeve winnie the pooh shirt with some like jegging jeans and then her little unicorn sweatshirt. So we're gonna bring that and I'm going to put that in Mason's bag. And then also I'm going to bring some extra shoes. These are just some little Target sneakers. And then lastly for Autumn, I'm going to bring some pull-ups. She is starting to learn how to potty train, but it's always good to bring some pull-ups. So I bought three little Minnie Mouse pull-ups. It's always good to be safe than sorry. Oh, and also I'm going to be bringing her pink little blanket. Now we are going to be doing Mason stuff. So again, I'm going to be packing it in this little bumblebee bag. Um, and I also switched, I switched to put the pull-ups in this bag. So this is going to be like the diaper bag and bibs. 
So yeah, we're going to do that. So for Mason, first his blanket is going to be this little jungle themed one, which he will also have in the stroller. And then for his diapers, I brought five diapers because he's a baby and he needs a lot more diapers. So I just have like this little Hello Bella one and then four of these little Pampers newborn. So I'm going to stick that in this little bag like that. And I'm going to pack him some wipes. I have this little wipes case and then I have this big thing of wipes. So I'm going to move some of these wipes into this case so it's a little more travel friendly. All right, I stuck a few wipes in there so that will be a lot easier to carry. And I'm going to stick that in with the diapers. Now for his extra change of clothes, I'm going to be bringing him a sleeper to stay nice and cozy. It's just this cute little Winnie the Pooh one. So that's super cute. And then also I packed this really cozy outfit. It's this little um, sweater set. And then it has these really cute and cozy pants. So that's a really cute outfit set. Okay, I'm also going to pack him an extra hat. This one's so cute. So we're going to pack that. And then also some extra socks just because it is very cold outside and rainy. And then I'm also going to pack him his pacifier and pacifier clip. He just has this cute little nook one and then this little pacifier clip with a little star on it. So we're gonna stick that in this front pocket. All right, next I'm going to bring him two bibs. So I have this cute one that says chick magnet. It's super cute. And then this one that says locally grown. So we're going to add that. And then for his toys, I'm going to bring his favorite little elephant lovey, which will stay in his stroller with him. And then he has this really cute giraffe like teether toy. And then this one he got for Christmas is this little crab. And it has like fun of the, tons of fun little interactive things on it. And then I'm also going to attach this little turtle to the car seat because he loves this. All right, last but not least, I'm going to bring his bottles and formula. So I packed him two bottles, this little Dr. Brown's one, and then this cute little newbie one. And each of them have around three ounces in them. And then I brought formula in there. So we're going to add that. And there's a little pocket, so I'm gonna stick one of his bottles in there and then the other bottle inside. Time to zip it up. All right guys, that is all that I would pack in my Reborn diaper bag. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And check out my Instagram, which is at Island Rose Reborns. I'm going to start posting on there a lot more. And I'll see you guys in another video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for some of my upcoming videos. They're gonna be super fun. So yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.